Israel has gone public with this, releasing a cockpit view showing the moment Israeli air forces bombed a suspected Syrian nuclear reactor in 2007. Military censors lifting a more than 10-year-old order that barred these top-secret pictures from being seen and Israeli officials from discussing them. The Israelis claim the reactor at the Al-Quba facility near Deir al-Zor in eastern Syria was months away from activation and was being built with the help of North Korea. But why admit this now? It seems it's all about sending a message to Iran. The admission comes with a warning that Israel would not allow Tehran to develop nuclear weapons. In recent months, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been doing the rounds calling on the U.S. and international community to take tougher action on Syria's ally. Israel's intelligence minister summing it up on Twitter. When it comes to nuclear weaponry, they didn't allow Syria to have it then and won't allow Iran today. Syria denies the allegations of nuclear activity, and Iran insists its nuclear program has always had peaceful aims. The Israelis also raising a frightening prospect, noting that the area in question was captured by Islamic State in 2011 and could have had an active nuclear reactor, but for their intervention.